Hey there, welcome back to Old World Home. Summer is officially in full swing around here and we have already hosted a few gatherings and enjoyed our outdoor spaces. So I wanted to kind of take you on a tour of them today. We have our sunroom here that I'm standing in and then our outdoor deck, which is absolutely an extension of our home and our living space when it is nice outside. So I did a little tidying, a couple of projects, and I just want to share with you all of that today. So here's kind of a look at the deck at the beginning of summer when we just started to get everything cleaned up. We took off all of the cushion covers from the chair cushions. You can see here our gate door was broken and I took down the string lights, which unfortunately half of them broke. So we do need to replace those. And like I said, my husband had to reattach the gate here. And I just started to take off anything that wasn't really necessary, all the smaller pieces and items so that we could start to power wash. So I just grouped all of the cushion inserts together and then we were going to power wash the covers, which I did try to wash in the washing machine and it didn't work. So we did wind up power washing them. And then the deck, like I mentioned, I did this project a couple years ago, two years ago, and I had stained the floor of the deck and you can see it just didn't hold up so great. And I had mistakenly put down a rug at one point and it just really damaged the floor underneath you can see the rug outline right there so that did not work for us so I went ahead and painted the deck flooring with the deck over that I've used before and I used it on the railings which have held up really great but the stain unfortunately did not hold up as well as I had hoped so I do like to do this step by hand I just feel like I can really get into all of the cracks and crevices versus rolling it on I tried to roll it last time and I just had to go back and fill in all the cracks anyways so I would rather just hand paint it it took a few you know nap times and evenings but I think it's totally worth it. It totally revitalized the deck floor and it looked great. Then in our sunroom, we had just this little step that had been bothering me that the paint had been chipping off. So I just used some deck and floor paint or porch and patio, I think is what it's called, that we used on our basement concrete. And I just used that to refresh that little step there, just a tiny little project that I was really happy to get done. And then it was just a matter of just regular maintenance here in the sunroom, just kind of cleaning things up, tidying things. This room is open to the elements. We have windows on one side and then screens on the other. So it definitely gets dusty in here. And this is the pass through to get to our deck. So we definitely, you know, kids track in grass and we just always have some regular upkeep. I actually got a little bit of uh, paint stripper on the floor there and I like to just use soap and water with a little bit of this essential oil It has clove and cinnamon in it and it actually just helps as a natural bug repellent as well So I use that to clean the floors and just a really diluted Soap and water to clean this vintage bench that we have this antique. I guess I don't know if it's really antique but I just went ahead and hand washed the floors washed down the walls and around the windows and things like that and the room is refreshed. It is something that has to be done multiple times throughout the summer, but we just really enjoy this space. It is a practical space for us to be able to house, you know, seed packets and gardening things in the desk. And then we also have this awesome nature shelf that we love to display the things that we collect either at our house or things that we find when we are out and about. can see here another way that we use this room when we host is we turn it into a coffee station so this is how it looked when we hosted a baby shower 
So moving back out to the deck, after the floors were finished and were looking great, I wanted to accessorize a little bit. And I was looking for some outdoor pillows, just a couple accent ones. And I went to a couple different home goods and saw some that I liked, but I actually wound up finding some really lovely things at Bed Bath & Beyond. This is not sponsored, totally. Just things that I found that I fell in love with. I really loved this Ever Home line. I loved the tablecloth that I found. Our glass table actually used to have a Lazy Susan in the center of it. And I actually took that off so that I could put a tablecloth on and it has that zipper enclosure so that you can fit it around the umbrella. And then my amazing husband, who just makes all my dreams come true, took some Trex boards that we had been given and added some lumber to it and created this awesome deck planter, this like raised planter bed that we lined with some landscaping fabric and I wound up painting the wood parts and leaving the more gray washed Trex boards alone and creating this like two-tone effect that actually Dan suggested and I thought it turned out really great. It ties in perfectly with our deck and we just went ahead and filled it with some raised bed soil which is so funny that they specifically market it that way. It totally worked because that is what we bought and we specifically wanted to use it for some herbs to have out here on our deck so that we can pull from them all summer long and the kids can you know watch it grow and kind of take care of it and weed it and things like that. So I love this addition to the deck. My daughter made really cute little name plates for each of the herbs with little rocks and it fits so perfectly on our deck. And I can link down below the plans that he loosely followed. So here's how our deck looked a couple years ago before I did the initial makeover and now it is refreshed yet again and ready to be enjoyed all summer long. Again, I am just loving those block prints, those ever home pillows and the tablecloth is just, it's so beautiful. It's so classic. You can't go wrong with blue and white, especially in the summer. And then I added just a little pop of orange. I just thought that was so pretty. I found those at Home Goods. And the lemon plates we've had forever, those were originally from Pottery Barn. And I just decorated with some wild berries that we have growing around our property. On our deck, we also have a pizza oven. We have a chiminea, so that's sort of the fire side of the deck. And we definitely love to take advantage of all of these different elements, the seating area, the dining area. We love to host and entertain and have people over and then just also enjoy it for ourselves. So this was just a little inexpensive upgrade to repaint the deck flooring and add in some accessories and I just really love how it turned out. Thank you all so much for watching and for being here. If you are new to my channel, be sure to stick around and subscribe. I do love to share all about our home, projects we have going on, and just our everyday lives. So thanks so much for being here and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care guys.